Hello, I'm Only Jax, and today we're talking about nicotine. Specifically, we're talking about vapes. Now, if you're not subscribed, you may not know that I am hopelessly addicted to nicotine. Notice how when I said subscribe, a little rainbow went around the subscribe button. That means you should click that button. Now, I got my start in the nicotine when I was dipping Copenhagen wintergreen around the time I was 15, 16 years old. I started because growing up, I had seen my uncle chew tobacco, and I thought my uncle was just the coolest guy ever. So, like children think, hey, this cool guy, my uncle, if he's doing it and he looks cool, then maybe when I do it, I'll look cool. And wouldn't you know it, I did look cool. I'll look really cool like if I start smoking because I didn't get along with anybody. So I started smoking. Wouldn't you know it, I did look cool. <laughs> But after around a year of dipping tobacco, I started to notice that I couldn't taste things as well anymore. I noticed how much salt I was putting on my food. Oh, and then I also realized that my gums were starting to recede. So for my health, I decided to quit the chew. And guys, let's be honest, no one wants to be riding around in your 2005 Honda Element tan colored with a bunch of like chewing tobacco dip spit cups everywhere. It's disgusting, dude. And it just so happened that around the time that I stopped dipping tobacco, vapes were starting to become incredibly popular. So I decided to take it easy on myself. I would quit the dipping tobacco, but I wouldn't quit nicotine. I would just start vaping. It's water vapor, guys. It's water vapor. How bad can it be? Now, this was before the age of disposable vapes. So when I started getting into vapes, I had this like four battery monstrosity with like a bunch of LED lights on it, a mesh coil atomizer, or a big old drip tip for those 12 foot clouds, baby. The sh was mwah, golden and ridiculous. I tried to find some pictures or videos of the vape because I know they exist, but I couldn't find any on my phone. And the guy who I know has them saved on his phone won't talk to me anymore. So we're out of luck. But here's a picture of me. He's a saved Snapchat picture of me doing, you know, making a cloud. So like, I can vouch. Eventually, I made the jump to disposable vapes once they started becoming more popular. And I mean, come on, like the advantages are there. I didn't have to get my hands all sticky from vape fluid. I didn't have to refill my own tank. I didn't have to accidentally burn a coil because I'd forgotten to refill the tank. And overall, I will say disposable vapes have a more consistent flavor and they're better. Not better for you, but they just, they just taste better. But I didn't know that when I started my path on disposable vapes that I would walk my way down to some sort of path that led me to this video right here. Story time. So I was at the vape store today, shout out C-Mug, and uh, I was in need of a new vape. So I walk into the vape store and out of the corner of my eye, I see a vape proudly displaying the X logo, formerly Twitter. I asked the man at the counter, hey, does this vape really connect to Twitter? And he says, no, it doesn't, but it does connect to your phone and you can almost use it like an Apple Watch. It turns out that you can view text messages on it, uh, play games, control your phone's camera, and then almost anything else you could think of on this thing. It even has a fully functional calculator, which albeit isn't that impressive, but still it's got it. Truly, we are living in a world where the whole meme where it's like, this guy's vape has games on it has come to life in a major way. So here, let's check this thing out. This is the vape I bought today. So here it is, uh, it's got a fully functional touch screen on it, a little power button here, gives you the time, the date, all this fun stuff. You can adjust your power level, which thank God, I've been meaning to just change how hard I've been hitting my vape these days. It'll track your workouts, apparently. Uh, you can play games on it. Here, check this out. Look at this. Play fucking Galaga on this thing. So you can play fucking Galaga on this thing and then check it out. If I were to let's say, send myself a text. Look at this nonsense. You can get texts on this thing. Look at this nonsense. I'm gonna send myself a text right now. Haha, <laughs> thanks Jax. Oh, and do you not like the wallpaper it comes with? Well, check this out. I don't really like this wallpaper. I'm gonna change it. So to connect this thing to your phone, you get an app. Um, it's all in Chinese. Uh, so I have no idea what the f it's saying. There's probably a virus on my iPhone right now, but let's change the wallpaper on my phone vape set custom wallpaper okay turn on the camera okay we'll make this look real pretty here perfect perfect oh file transfer and let it let oh it's still sending it's still sending and there that's my face that's that's my stupid ass face on the cover of a vape like what what so with that, I have an announcement to make. I'm done. I'm done vaping. 
I can't, I can't do this anymore. I can't in good conscience keep vaping and supporting whatever this nicotine industry is. I'm not normally one to take this argument, but think of the children. Does anyone remember Juul or mango flavored Juul pods? You know the reason we don't have flavored Juul pods anymore is because some lawmakers in California were convinced that all these cool and funky flavors were gonna get kids hooked on vaping? Well, news flash for you. I'm pretty sure it did. I think absolutely the entire point of all those cool and funky flavors were to get kids hooked on f***ing jewels. And I'll, I'll be the first to admit it. But let me ask you this. What's gonna get your attention more? A mango flavored jewel pod or a f***ing vape that you can text from? I spent $4 more than I would have normally on this thing because I just had to see what it can do. I just had to find out. I was in disbelief. There is absolutely zero reason to have all of this functionality on a vape unless your, I don't know, goal is to get kids hooked on this shit. And I'll stand by that until I'm dead. That's just my opinion. Go ahead and cancel me. I don't I don't think kids should be vaping. Go ahead and cancel me. That's just my opinion. If you don't have a microphone, you shouldn't be playing the game in the first place. That's just my opinion. Go ahead and cancel me. I don't care. Yo, Turtle, shut the f*** up. Imagine how cool you would be if you showed up to Miss Denchfield's 10th grade English class rocking the f***ing Twitter vape. My brother in Christ, you would be neck deep in teenage girls trying to just get a taste of the cloud that's in that vape, dude. This kind of reminds me of the TikTok where the two older kids are bullying the kid with the vape. It's I'll show you. Can I hit the neck? No! Why do you want to hit it? I just want to hit it, man. Okay. Very bad. Nicotine no, is bad for you. No. Very bro, I'm telling you, bro, no, nicotine's I'm bad. Dead. I'm, dead. I'm telling you, nicotine's bad, bro. It's in the water. You wanna bet? And hey, I mean, I don't blame vape manufacturers for doing this. I mean, it's smart marketing. Get them hooked on it young. Ever wonder why cigarette brands aren't allowed to advertise anymore? It's because they were marketing to kids. Joe Camel and the Marlboro Man. Placing cigarette displays close to eye level with children or placing them near candy and sugary drinks are just a few examples on how big tobacco companies in the past would try to get kids hooked on the Nick. Nick, 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 Nicotine is good. Now, kids in the modern day are, I don't wanna say smarter, but I will say more more sophisticated, so sophisticated to the fact where some silly cartoon or clever placement isn't gonna fool them into puffing down a nice pre-rolled and filtered cigarette. But a vape with an iPad on it might do it. Anti-smoking groups and organizations are, I think, correct when they say that the tobacco, and I guess the nicotine industry as a whole, would crumble if kids stopped getting hooked on the nick when they were, you know, kids. And an adult isn't gonna randomly think to themselves, you know that thing that's crazy addictive and is known to kill people in the form of cigarettes? and the health effects are still relatively unknown in the form of vape, I think I should start smoking that. It would be a losing game if the goal were to get grown men and women down with the nickness. Thankfully for them, it's easier than that. It turns out, to get kids hooked on the good stuff, all you need are a few funky flavors in all the colors of the rainbow. But it seems that they've decided to take this an entire step further and just start throwing Bluetooth-capable Game Boys on the front of their nicks in order to, I don't know, doom Gen Alpha to a life of vape shops and nicotine addiction. So, it's zin for me. For now on, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I know I should quit entirely, but I know myself. It's either nicotine or I KMS, and it would be hard to pump out these wacky videos if I were uh, not around, so zen it is. And don't get me wrong, I'm not an uninformed, silly consumer. I'm fully intent on finishing this thing before I make the switch. I'm not gonna lose out on the $30 I paid for this thing. But uh, that's it for now. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and a like, give it a like. If you dislike nicotine products, go ahead and leave it a like. Um, if you want to make fun of me or the new setup, that's fine, leave me a mean comment. Uh, join the Discord if you want notifications every 15 minutes uh, from me, just begging for your attention. Um, I love it, thank you. Uh, and be sure to catch the live streams I do every weekend. But, um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe, and until next time, uh, don't buy a vape with an iPad on it. You made it to the end of the video, you should subscribe, or maybe just leave a like. Leave a comment if you please, but I'd rather you subscribe. I check that shit like every day, and when that subscriber number goes up, well, my heart goes up to the sky when you do subscribe.